Hi, I'm Jennifer Broadley and I want to talk to you today about um, emotional connection. So it's one of our nine human needs, our emotional needs. And emotional connection is all about having at least one person in the world who fully accepts you for who you are. So no matter how crazy your idea, you know, uh, I want to set up a bee farm in New Zealand, that person's going to go, oh, you'd be brilliant at that. Yeah, we all need at least one of them in our lives. And why is this an essential human need? So here's the thing. If you split your personality into 80-20, 80% 80 is um, um, part of your personality that most people will go through through their lives. Their, their um, zero to five stuff, their teenage stuff, their 20s, 30s, 40s stuff. This is kind of general stuff. And then there's this other 20% that is unique to us. So it's our quirkiness, our um, oddities. And those things that are unique to each of us drive the human race forward by being the things that only we can contribute in the world. And we need one or two people around us to, to, to accept those things in us and to say, you know, come on, keep going with those things, keep going with those thoughts, with those projects, with those um, um, dreams that you have. Keep driving for them. And, you know, the people that provide that emotional connection with us, they don't have to be um, an intimate partner. They can be, the emotional connection doesn't have to be physical intimacy. It can be emotional intimacy, yeah, emotional acceptance. So they can be a grandparent, um, a parent, a sibling, a family member, a friend, or equally um, a husband, a wife, a life partner, something like that. But here's the thing. Most of us will not have one person who is that, who provides that emotional connection, who will be the same person from age zero in our lives to age 100. Unlikely. So the thing is, there are going to be times in our life when that emotional connection, we feel a lack of it because that person either dies or that our relationship comes to an end. We get uh, separated or divorced or fa friendship falls out, something like that. So... When that happens and we have this sense of a lack of emotional connection, we can feel dev it can feel devastating and our worldview can change for a time and we can also experience a big self-esteem drop. Equally, we can have this sense of black and white thinking where we tell ourselves that everybody else in the world is happy, everybody else in the world has found someone who they love um, and are happy with and I'll never have that again. I will feel sad and lost and alone and misunderstood forever. Yeah, black and white thinking, not helpful. But here's the thing, we will develop other emotional connections again. And it's remembering that when those opportunities come up, that um, there's a certain number of things that are really good for us to just keep in mind. The first thing is that when we've shared our 80% with someone and they're fairly accepting of, of us, and we quite like them and they quite like us, that we share our 20%, our oddities and our quirkiness, we share it quite openly. Secondly, um, we share it uh, when they're sharing their 20% with us. We listen to them and we are in a place of accepting and non-judgment when we're listening to their stuff. In the same way that we hope that they'll be accepting and non-judgmental of us when we share our quirkiness and our oddities, our 20%. And then the third thing is to remember to um, stay connected with that person in the spirit of friendship. And friendship is made up of two things. It's made up of fondness and it's made up of admiration so that we continue to remember why we became fond of that per person in the first place and why we admired them. And equally, we have this sense of remembering why they became fond of us in the first place and why they admired us in the first place. And if we're unsure of that, just ask them. So, uh, but, but those three things, this um, sharing your story openly, being accepting and non-judgmental and um, continuing to be in relationship that, with that person in a spirit of friendship, they're super, super important for us to further develop emotional connection and intimacy with, with um, others as we go through our lives. Cool. Hope this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed the share and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye for now.